Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Victoria Amory and today I'm going to make a really quick, delicious, fresh herb sauce that goes with practically everything. It's made with soft herbs, which are parsley, basil, dill, sage, anything that you can put in the blender basically works. If you have spinach at hand, it works too. And it looks, it's very bright green and it tastes wonderful. I have cilantro, which I'm going to cut and um, different types of parsley and it's a great sauce to use with all the leftover herbs that you have in the fridge at the end of the week or in the bottom of the fridge at the end of the garden or whatever it's so the fresh herbs go in a blender garlic and olive oil and it's sort of going to be like a sort of like a healthy pesto in a way and then you just blend to make to make like a thick puree and you can use it as a marinade. And you can just keep adding more olive oil depending on the thickness or the thinness that you want it. We need a little bit more here. And I love having this in the fridge and made already all the time because it's really sensational. So let's see. You know, I am really lucky that I have a small little herb garden, but you know, herbs grow really anywhere, on a windowsill, in pots. There's such a luxury to have fresh herbs at hand to cook. It really brings out the best of the food and it gives it wonderful freshness and flavor without having to add salt or sugar or additives that will spoil the food or that keep it longer. Um, you know, this uh, salsa verde or fresh herb sauce is also delicious with seafood and I sometimes make it um, with little baby shrimp that I've just simply thawed and then you toss it with it and you can fill vegetable cups or you can fill avocados. Um, it's, it's really sensational and super, super practical. If you want to use it as a marinade, it's better to keep it thicker because then it's going to adhere to the thing that you're marinating. If you're going to use it as a sauce to, sauce, to toss potatoes or something like that, then you might want to put a little thinner. Um, I sometimes put ginger if I have ginger at hand, which gives it again a really fabulous and sensational flavor. But this is a really practical sauce also to have in the fridge. I keep jars of it when at the end of the week when I have a whole bunch of herbs left over from the weekly allotment. And you know, you can add uh, spinach or you can add arugula, any green leaf that you have you can add to give this, this sauce more body and more texture. Um, even mint it's delicious, any, any soft herb. It's delicious with tomatoes, I've made a little tomato salad here and just to show you it just gives it a wonderful great color and it doesn't have the, the, um, the parmesan that pesto has. Mm, yum. Um, with steak, I love marinating skirt steak on the sauce and then grilling it and then I serve a dollop of the sauce on the side. It is great also to dip asparagus and to dip vegetables before you cook them because the, the, the garlic and the olive oil just give it a wonderful coat of, of, of essence and it's fabulous and I mean fabulous in a potato salad. I just simply boil the potatoes for 20 minutes until fork tender and then I cut them, or if they're baby potatoes, you don't have to cut them, and then just toss them with this green sauce and you'll see that the whole kitchen will smell of these fabulous herbs and these, these, the, the garlic, and, and you can use really any herb, I mean, rosemary, mint, and you can play with whichever flavors you like. If you like more mint, put more mint. If you like more oregano, put oregano. If you like basil, put basil, or you can do it with just one. The point is, is that you're using fresh ingredients that are simple and good for you. I hope that you like this sauce. Thank you very much.